In this problem, we're solving for x. We have a lot of, this is an equality, not an inequality, so we're allowed to multiply by terms with x in it. If it was an inequality, if you multiply by anything with x, it could be negative, and it could flip your inequality sign, and you won't uh, get the right interval. So you really need to graph uh, rational inequalities. This is an equality, so we're allowed to multiply by terms with x. What I've already done is factored the x squared plus 2x minus 3, and it factors into x minus 1 times x plus 3. That means if we multiply by x minus 1 times x plus 3, we'll clear all the denominators at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. I've rewritten the equation really big right here. So distributing both of these to all three terms. We'll start on the left. x minus 1 cancels the x minus 1. We're left with x minus 3. So the numerator times x plus 3. Now the right side, uh, this term cancels the x plus 3, and so it's just times numerator times x minus 1 plus. On the right, the denominator cancels both of those, and so we're just left with plus 8. Okay, multiply, uh, foil these right here, x times x is x squared plus x plus 3x is plus 4x, 1 times 3 is positive 3. Distribute negative 11 into x, negative 11x, plus 11, plus 8. Right here, you might be tempted to factor here, but don't do it. You have a quadratic equation. You have to collect all the terms on one side. I like my x squared to be positive, so I'm going to collect everything onto the left. I'm going to add 11x to both sides. 4 plus 11 is 15x, subtract 8, so 3 minus 8 is negative 5, and we have, oh, whoa, that's some bad math. We need to subtract 19, yeah, so 11 plus 8 is 19, we need to subtract that 19, so it's 3 minus 19 is 16, negative 16 equals 0. Okay, from here, we're going to try to factor and get lucky. You can also complete the square on the x terms and solve for x. You can also use the quadratic formula. Uh, we, I'm going to factor and get lucky because I can see how this factors. 16 factors in a few ways. Of course, 4 times 4, six, uh, 2 times 8 or 16 times 1. We're going to go with the 16 times 1. We need to multiply and make negative, so 1's positive, 1's negative. I'm guessing and checking. Negative 16 times 1 is negative 16, that's good. And outside is x minus 16x, which is minus 15x. That's the opposite sign we want. So it's plus and minus. Now, when we do inside, we get 16x. Outside is negative x, so it's positive 15x. So we have two solutions. The first one, x equals negative 16, zeroes out the first factor. The second factor, x equals 1. All right, so it looks like we have two solutions. However, these are two solutions to this equation. We really want to make sure they are solutions to the original equation. So I'm going to scroll up. I'm just rewriting the two solutions. We had negative 16, positive 1. Negative 16 is fine. However, positive 1. What's wrong with positive 1? This is the equation we're asked to solve. Look at this, you can't plug in positive one because it would turn these two denominators into zero. So you have to throw away positive one. And you're just left with negative 16, and that is the answer right here. It's possible on your question that both x values could be uh, plugged in, meaning they make no denominator zero, and if that's the case, then 
your two x values would be the correct answers here. But it's very likely that one of them is going to make uh, one or both sides of the equation undefined, and you have to throw away those x values.